the lovely world. So I I feel like you guys all want to hear me talk about what I'm doing for Valentine's Day or what I think you guys should do for Valentine's Day, but I can't answer that I can't answer one of those questions. I can't answer the other question now. And I'm just going to say this. As a single guy, I love, you know, sitting at home, you know, watching YouTube videos or watching a Netflix show or a Netflix movie or a movie of some sort just on my laptop. That's that's what a great day for me is, for a great Valentine's Day for me is. And I'm excited for that type of Valentine's Day for myself. Now, everyone else is different. I know this is this is basically just a hallmark. I know a lot of people are going to jump down my throat for saying this, but this is just a hallmark uh, holiday where you have to do something nice for your girlfriend or you have to do something nice for your boyfriend or or whatever, whoever you're dating or whatever you're considered as. Look, I, I don't want to do all that crap. I think it's, I think it's just another day that we have to do something special for, for a person that we love or something like that. It's just another day. I, you know, this is what upsets me about this day. Look, I've talked about this in the past. You can do a nice thing like take your girlfriend or your wife or your boyfriend or your husband, whoever it is, out for a nice dinner or a nice thing any day of the year. It's just it's just feeding into we have to buy candy. We have to buy buy roses or some sort of flowers for for something that is kind of pointless, at least to, to me. I know I know I have no right saying anything like that because I am single and I've been single forever and I probably will be single forever. But, it, and I know there's some, some of you out there that agree that this is just a waste of a day, this Valentine's Day thing. And, and there's been a new term that's been going around for like the last three or four years called Valentine's Day, where a bunch of gals get together and just go out and just have fun. Look, I don't expect you guys to understand where I'm coming from because I am single and most humans, not all humans, but most humans have a significant other of some sort. Whether it's for women, they have a boyfriend or a girlfriend that they go out with every single, you know, Valentine's Day or Valentine's Day or whatever you want to call it. And then there's the, the the select few of us that are single on this day that say, why the hell do we have to celebrate this when it's just nothing? Because we don't, we don't have a significant other. We don't have someone to, you know, do all that fun stuff, to do that stuff with. And you can do that any day of the year. I don't know why it has to be one day where we have to get flowers for her. Or get her a car that says Happy Valentine's Day on it. Or get her a nice dinner. You can do that any day of the year. Why is this day any different? I mean, I'm sure you get a, I'm sure a lot of you are going to say in the comment section down below, this has been around for thousands of years. Or hundreds of, hundreds of years. And there's a reason behind it. But think about this. You can do, you can take your girl or your guy or whoever you're dating out to dinner and out to a movie or to stay in any day of the year and just have, have nice things that happen that time of the day, time of the year. But why is this any more special than any other day of the year when you could take her out to a nice dinner or take him out to a nice dinner or, you know, go out with your your friends and just enjoy the single life and not be considered a third wheel or anything like that. It's just I I enough about that. Look, the real reason I came to you guys today is because there are two movies that just re, just re, hit theaters today. Now I'm not too sure if I want to go see the other one, but there is one movie that I definitely want to go see that came out or that hit theaters today and that is that Fantasy Island film with Lucy Hale and a bunch of others. I know 
I'm not saying I'm going to go see it today. I probably won't see it tomorrow. Maybe sometime next week I will see it. I just don't know when I will see it, but I am going to see it. The other one is the Sonic the Hedgehog film. Now, I did play the game when I was a little when I was younger. And it was a great it's a great game. Do not get me wrong on that. But I just don't know if this this movie is going to is going to be the same or as equal to the video game. It's just from from the trailers I've seen from the, you know, the previews, the you know, whatever you want to classify it as, it just didn't seem like a movie I wanted to go see. And that's perfectly fine. I don't think anyone's, you know, going to go see that. Maybe more people will go see Fantasy Island. I don't know. Maybe more people will go see Birds of Prey. Because I heard it kind of flopped. And earning money. But I just don't know. There's other movies, you know, Bloodshot's uh, a new Vin Diesel film's in a couple of weeks, I think. That's what he said. That could be a good film to go and see. And then, you know, I mean, there's just, you know, Fantasy Island could be a good film. I, wouldn't, I won't know until I go and see it, but it could be a good film to go and see next week. Or maybe on Sunday or mo Monday next week. Even though technically Monday is a holiday because it's President's Day. But... Who knows? I really want to go see. I really want to go see Fantasy Island because it looked from everything that I've seen, it looks like it could be an interesting film to go and see. Now I know psychological thrillers are probably not you know your cup of tea, and I completely understand that. But for me, some some of those films are actually pretty good, and that's what this is. This is a psychological thriller, and I mean. I have crushes on a lot of women actresses. That's just that's just what it is. And Lucy Hale is one of them. And it could be interesting to see how she does in this film. And I know I haven't seen every single piece of work she's been or any of her work she's been in. I've seen a few things that she's been in, but not every single thing. So that's just interesting. And who knows? I'm going to go catch up on some more YouTube videos and then go to sleep and then wake up and do this whole thing again. And if you celebrate Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day. If you celebrate Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day. Whatever you celebrate today, just happy whatever it is for you guys. If you're single, just make it a happy single day and just stay in, watch a movie or watch a TV show or... Or go out to the movies by yourself, or go out to dinner by yourself. Whatever you want to do, don't 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 feed into what society says we should do on this day. When you could do it at any other day of the year, any other day of the 364 days or 65 days of the year that that happens to exist. So that's my two cents. That's my rant. I want to go see Fantasy Island, probably will sometime in the next like four or five days, or maybe even a week from now, who knows. Just to let you guys know, that's, that's what I wanted to discuss with you guys today. I know people are going to jump down my throat, and I completely understand your, your viewpoint. I have mine. You guys have an amazing 2020, have an amazing birthday, whatever age you're celebrating this year, whether you're turning 18 whether you're turning 13, whether you're turning 21 or 25 or 30 or 35 or 40 or 50 or 60 or 70, whatever age you're celebrating, just have an amazing birthday because that's what, that's what good human beings do. They have an amazing birthday no matter what age they're celebrating. For me, I'm 31 and I'm ready to be 31 even though we're still, you know, two months and three days out but yeah anyways just have an amazing birthday be who you want to be and i will see you tomorrow bye bye